Hey everyone, this is Brimster, and this is number 74 in my Sudoku problem series. Um, this is a thermo problem that was submitted by Ratfinks, and thank you for sending this one in. Um, so this, uh, the way thermos work is digits must strictly increase um, from the bulb to the tip. They cannot stay the same, they cannot go down. And of course the goal on this one is to place all the digits in cells marked with X's. Um, you do not need to place any of the other digits even if you can. Um, so, uh, yep, that's the goal. I'm going, this one has been rated as easy by the testers. So I'm going to give you a few seconds to grab the link from below where you can give this one a try. Um, you can pause the video and then I'll be back to explain how this one works. Okay, so it should be fairly obvious, I'm hoping, that the place to start on this one is in column one, because you have a thermo that, um, takes up the entire column. So this is just going to run up the um, entire thing. So the only place you can put one on a thermo is right at the bottom. And the only place you can place nine is at the end. Um, what you can then do is you can look at um, where can nine go in row nine. Um, it can only, it can never go partway along a thermo. Um, so none of these cells can be nine. So this becomes nine. And then of course we want to ask ourselves is of the digits that are here, what's the lowest digit we can put on a thermo? One's not available. So this has to be the two. Again, um, what um, this thermo now contains every digit but two, so this has to be the one, and this has to be the nine, being the lowest and the highest digits available on a thermo that is taking up everything but a two. And then this thermo has got exactly the same principle. It's contain it's containing every digit except one and nine in order, so this is going to have to be the two, which is the lowest digit available, and this is going to have to be the eight, which is the highest digit available. Now we can fill out pretty much the entire border with this, but these are the only digits that have been asked for. So I hope you were able to figure that one out fairly quickly. Um, it is a, an important principle of thermos that um, the minimums and maximums of digits that are available in uh, fully constrained rows, columns and boxes. So I uh, hope that one helped you if you've struggled with some thermos in the past with some basic concepts. Um, hope you're enjoying the series and as always, good luck with your solving.